Well, happening right now for the first time in human history, NASA is trying to crash into an asteroid. This is pretty spectacular. Live pictures right now. The space agency hoping to slam a spaceship into this asteroid to get it off its course by as much as 10 minutes, all in the name of testing planetary defense. A live stream here from NASA. Let is, let's listen in because we think we're uh, just seconds away from this happening. Control system settling down. Angular rates look really good. I think we're going to get the investigation team some good pictures. Wow. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> Starting to see those individual boulders there. You can see shadows uh, of the various rocks on the surface. In fact, it's amazing, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Eight, yeah. seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. All right, you are watching we history in the making. The camera is on a spacecraft, and we're expecting the signal to go out because that spacecraft crashed right into that asteroid trying to get it off course. Now, this is really a dress rehearsal for the day. A deadly rock races toward Earth. Uh, the spacecraft there, its name is DART, and it crashed into the asteroid called Dimorphos at 14,000 miles an hour. That asteroid was about 525 feet long, about the size of a football field and a half. And uh, that spacecraft, which is about a 1,260 pounds. It crashed into the asteroid. Uh, it's expected to have carved out a crater, sending rock and dirt flying into space. And there are telescopes capturing it. We've lost the live feed because the spacecraft, well, it broke apart. I mean, it did a lot of damage there. But uh, the radio signal, which vanished, it could be days or weeks to figure out how much it really did change this asteroid's path.